uh, this uh, very ambitious project that came along uh, during the pandemic and uh, from the inception of it to today, I think it's been a grind. We've been trying to you know, put things together. We've been trying to uh, make a vision happen. And Andre has had a very set vision about what he wants out of this festival, whereas we you know, have always seen, this country has seen from 2011, has seen tattoo conventions, which has grown into a very conventional, you know, stereotype convention that we've been experiencing all these years. You know, from 2011, when I remember, you know, we did the first convention called Tattoo Republic, till the last convention in 2019 called Hard Road. You know, we've all tried to replicate, we've all tried to duplicate and do the same things over and over again. Uh, some may have done it well, some probably did not. And so with this, what we wanted to do is, I've always been, being an artist, I've always felt that, you know, collaborations were the way to go. And right now we see collaborations are happening on every platform possible. Whether it be digital, whether it be, you know, otherwise, or uh, movies, or any sort of platform, you see collaborations and that's the way to go. You know, so for us, collaborating and doing things with other artists who sometimes don't get the legit platform that they really deserve, but the whole motive of this convention, of this event is that we give the platform to people who really deserve it, but haven't had it till yet. So, you know, with that, even from the last conventions that I did with hard work, you know, I always wanted the, the main thing that's your face, that's your, the poster that speaks so much about the convention. I've always wanted artists to come together, put their art form together, and you know, create something which they would want to be proud of. You know, and with this, I see this happening. You know, I see it happening with this event that we have planned. And honestly speaking, this is not an event which, you know, I would solely want to take credit for. It's, it's a vision that we all started together. In fact, there are other people sitting over there who also are a part of it, who, you know, wanted to come together and create something for the community. So that's where it all started and that's where we are all heading to. So the more we support, the more we are going to grow. And I'm not saying that it's going to be for myself or for you or for you. It's going to be for everyone. So we'd rather come together and let's support this cause. I would really like to thank Mangala Ben and Pramod for putting this together and coming up with this poster that we are going to be unveiling right now. Thank you. Uh, good evening, everybody. On behalf of NESCO, on behalf of NESCO, on behalf of NESCO, I welcome the tattoo community to our venue. Uh, as has been said by Andrew, we are very excited to be a part of this uh, experiment for us. We are a venue, so we do a lot of activities both in the B2B and B2C space and we will hope this will, uh, you guys will find it uh, you know, very useful and you will find the venue very cooperative and help, help you to grow your community here and whatever help is required from our side, we will always be there with you. Let me call Andrew. Something and as I said about two existing 
And uh, Amit here, who is a practicing bed artist, he's learned under Shanti Bai, who is Bangla Bai's daughter. Um, he's been coming to hard work all these years and supporting us. And we got in touch, I got in touch with him and told him that we want, we want to reach out to Bangla Bai and ask her if she's going to support us with uh, giving her artwork to us. And we want to take it, and as I said, to, to Mumbai or anywhere in India, to an artist who's going to collaborate with it and make that possible. And she immediately said yes to it. She was like, okay, I'm, I'm happy to do this for you all. And uh, so this poster came all the way from Madhya Pradesh, from her uh, hometown. Uh, it came here to Mumbai. We, we sent it across to, to Pramod, and uh, we have been fortunate that Pramod put his work together, and then the whole artwork got digitized at Iron Buzz, and thank you Eric and your team for um, creating this, the digital version of it, and uh, to talk, not to talk too much about it, Mahabai, Sam, Pramod, Eric, all you guys who helped put this poster together and this, please come here, Mahabai. About. So yeah, I think that's been the moment that we've all been waiting for and anxiously to know what we are here to do. That, that's the really thing the rock star on that bike. Sorry up your family, sorry up your family.
Something like this is more on an education to educate our audience that tattoo is safe, tattoo is healthy, tattoo is hygiene, and uh, it's it's absolutely safe to get tattooing done. So I think a project like this is more to announce. Sam, a project like this is more to announce and you know teach teach the audience that you know this is a culture that can be accepted. It was accepted you know traditionally in the early days, and now in the modern world. We should accept tattoos, and tattoos should be accepted everywhere. You shouldn't be judged. You shouldn't be judged by your tattoos, but uh, it's a form of art, and this art has been practiced in traditional style and now in modern contemporary style. So that's one of the the main reasons that we are doing this is to is to make our community known and make the audience known. Uh, it's also about uh, gathering gathering of communities together. And showcasing, you know, our traditions and our culture. And tattooing has been a culture for for a very, very, very long time in India. And that's what we want to say that, you know, come experience this culture and be a part of this culture. Uh, 
So, uh, to start with the cooler, cooler being the name, cooler being the name is is about. It comes from the Sanskrit word called kul, and kul means community. It means clan. It means uh, tribe. And we are a modern tribe. All of us, you know, we we've, we've we've existed from millions of years back, and that's what they did then. And this is what, as a modern tribe, is what we are doing. But we are, it's the same practice that's going on, tattooing. It's just more evolved and evolved and come. And we want cooler, what we made cooler worldwide. So we want to take this project out from India everywhere else and not bring, bring, bring like what's happening around the world into India, but take what's happening in India, take it around the world and say, you know, hey, this is our tradition, this is our culture. and. Uh, we are here to present it to you as cooler worldwide. So, yeah, it's about it's not only cooler, but it's cooler worldwide that we want to go with it. Is this for the first time? Uh, is this for the first time uh, we organizing this, uh, or uh, or that is not really organized previous year also? And if already organized previous year, how what difference is like? So, you know, like like I said when I was talking earlier that we've done conventions in the past. We've done you know we've brought artists together. We've brought you know, artists from across the globe. But it's never happened the way this one is going to be happening because this involves not only tattoo artists, but, you know, artists from every walk of life. We are talking about indigenous artists who have been, who are the roots of, you know, the evolve, where, where this art form evolved from. So we are trying to bring in those people who are trying to revive this art form in some way or the other in their with facing a lot of hardships, with facing a lot of problems like, you know, Mangala Bain also described, that it's a dying form. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to revive it and giving them a platform to come and showcase what this art form was and what it is right now. So that's what this, that's how this event is going to be different. That's how Kula is going to be different from the ones that have happened in the past. You know, we've never really tapped in or re never really thought about it in the past, with the past events. But with this event, we want to bring that change where not only tattooing, but how did it all start needs to be showcased. That's how it is. So we are expecting anything between, say, 100 to 150 artists, 100 to 150 artists. Yes, global. Global, yes. That's why we called it a a global gathering yeah. and uh, you know the tagline for this is like get ready we are returning to where it all started so it's about getting ready and we returning to where it all started and giving them respect and also seeing how how we can coexist like sam would want to you know want to use that art form in some way in his modern collaborations yes. so that's that's the whole core of this event of this platform you know, trying to help each other by collaborating, by using each other's work and giving each other the credit that we all deserve. You know, and coming up with something that is more than beautiful in a way, picturistic way where, you know, we probably would have never imagined it to be. So that's what this art form is, this what this platform is trying to do. Like it's, it's, we are getting from all yes. the response we are getting from the uh, other country. Oh, the response has been super great. I mean, uh, in with so so Sam's curating the the, the artist. He's, he's mentoring this, but he's also curating the artist to be here and be focusing and bringing a lot of indigenous artists from across the world, um, from Sarawak, from New Zealand, from. Uh, Australia, from India itself so much, but I think uh, he's always got the best artist who, who in terms of art were the best, you know, and, and educated India with that. And Sam can say a few of the names that he's curated and he's brought down, and I'm sure he's got a plan, he's got a plan for, the, for, for this as well. So, you know, we as a team, to be very honest, I would say, you know, Andre and myself, we've traveled so much extensively you know, that we have met and we've come across so many friends, so many people who practice tattooing on a completely different level. As in the exposure, not just for us, has been eye-opening. It's been 
a roller coaster ride where we probably never imagined that art form could be in this manner, could be practiced in this way. Like we've got friends from New Zealand who probably get into the go into the forest. They you know do rituals and then they come back and then they start tattooing and do. Then we've met people from Philippines, from the Southeast Asian community, where you know every tattoo is done. That is done is done after a ritual that is done. You know they do their prayers, they do their offerings, and then they start doing the tattoo. So it's not only tattooing that these people are doing. They're, they're doing so much more than that. You know it's a it's a revival. It's it's an eye-opening experience which I feel everybody in our community should experience. Because till date, we've all that we've experienced and we've been exposed to is you lift the machine, you pick up the machine, you start tattooing. The client is done. You go back home. You know. But now, this is the kind of exposure that we want people to know and see that this is how serious an art form can be for some. And we want you to bring that seriousness into your practices. You know. That's what we are planning, trying to do. We definitely want to represent India yes. globally. Absolutely. So, you know, we want to say like, hey, India's. India is here, and this is our culture. This is our tattoos, and we represent India on a global platform. Something new you are planning this year? Everything is very new. Uh, we kind of uh, put everything aside from the from what happened in the pandemic. We put our thoughts aside of how we were doing things in in, uh, in the in the pandemic, and we we've, we've now aligned ourselves to a post-pandemic world. You know, and. That's what it's about, about coexisting as, as a post-pandemic world. And we want communities to come together to coexist. Uh, Pre-pandemic, we all we lived and did our own things and our own communities. But I think it's evident that we, we coexist and help each other. So it's a fresh, new thought. But as I said, going back to our roots and you know, bringing more communities together. You trust me. I'm sorry, but my last word of my input would be, you know, trust me, we both are equally scared as much as we are happy to do this. <laughs> as much as we are happy to do it and we want to do it for the community. We are also, you know, we have cold feet sometimes and wonder that whether we should do it or not, whether it will work. But we really hope and we pray that it should work and it will work. You know, it will. So thanks about it. Thanks for the presentation. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. The bar is worried about this. NISCO is arguably the India's largest private sector exhibition center. And we do a lot of events here across uh, all through the year. And But we have never uh, really gone into you know events which are so-called B2C in nature. So we are hoping that this will help to grow the tattoo fraternity here and also help we want to be a you know, support system because we have the value here, we have the resources to help them to uh, create a bigger, uh, maybe a, a big, create a bigger community. That's what we want to help them do that. Done? Namaskar. My name is Mangla Vai Maravi. I am from Gram Lalpur, Jila Dindori, Madhya Pradesh. Please take a point moment, please. और यहाँ आके मेरे को बहुत मतलब मैं कह नहीं सकती बहुत खुशी हो रही है क्योंकि जो ये कार्यक्रम करने वाले हैं ये बहुत ही अच्छा कार्यक्रम है क्योंकि हमारे पीढ़ी दर पीढ़ी से जो घुटना चलती आ रही है वो अब लुप्त होने की कगार पे है अभी भी सौ में दस परसेंट भी नहीं बचा है बहुत सारे ऐसे लोग हैं जो अभी भी करा रहे हैं लेकिन बहुत कम शहर में तो ज़्यादा हो गया है लेकिन देहात में तो कम हो गया है गांव देहात में कुछ भी नहीं हो रही है तो इसको बचाने के लिए ही हम ये कार्यक्रम रख रहे हैं तो जैसे यहाँ मुझे बुलवाए हैं मैं यहाँ आके बहुत खुश हूँ और लोग सीखना चाहते हैं जानना चाहते हैं इसके बारे में क्यों करा रहे हैं कैसे करा रहे हैं उनको मैं सब विस्तार से बताऊँगी जितना मेरे को पता है तो क्या है कि गुदना जो है तो पारंपरिक बैगा जाति के गुदना उनके जाति प्रथा का पहचान होती थी जब तक बैगा जाति के महिलाओं के जैसे ये माथे में चूल्हा नहीं होती तो चूल्हा नहीं होने के कारण में उनको बैगा जाति के नहीं मानते थे तो चूल्हा बनवाना उनके लिए ज़रूरी था और चूल्हा इसलिए बनवाते थे कि, कि हमारे घर में भोजन बनती रहे और हमारे घर में कभी अनाज या भोजन की कमी ना हो 
इसलिए से और घुटने पे दिया बनवाते थे दिया मतलब हमारे घर में रोशनी बनी रहे उस जमाने में लाइट बिजली कुछ भी नहीं थी नांगा बैगा और नांगा बैग इनकी जमाने की बात है ये तो मतलब हमारे घर में दिया जलती रहे ताकि रोशनी मिलती रहे ऐसे करके फिर बखर बनवाया और बैल के आँख बैल के आँख से ही रहेंगे तभी तो वो मतलब चलेगा हल इसलिए ऐसे ऐसे बनवाए और बहुत सारे ऐसे चीज़ें हैं बखर है और चकमक पत्थर से आग जलाना तो चकमक पत्थर ठोक के आग जलाते रहे तो पहले आग कुछ भी नहीं होती थी उस जमाने से चलती आ रही है जो अपनी पारंपरिक ये गुदना है ये लुप्त हो रही है इसलिए ऐसे अब मैं शहर में लोगों को बताती हूँ सिखाती हूँ और सीख भी रहे हैं बहुत ही अच्छे से सीख रहे हैं मेरे को बहुत खुशी हो रही है कम से कम हमारी ये धरोहर जिंदा रहेगी कहीं भी रहेगी जिंदा रहेगी तो इसीलिए यहाँ आके मेरे को बहुत अच्छा लगा और ये कार्यक्रम तो एकदम बहुत अच्छा लगा मेरे को अब मैं ज़्यादा तो कुछ नहीं कह सकती धन्यवाद जी जी तो ये बीढ़ी है और ये झेला है झेला मतलब जड़ भी सही होना चाहिए जैसे हम फसल उगाएंगे तो हमारी जड़ भी सही होना चाहिए और जिसको भी झेला बोलते हैं ऊपर का जो फसल है वो भी अच्छा होना चाहिए अनाज अच्छा पकना चाहिए ऐसे वो दर्शाती है और ये मछली का काटा है और ये चकमक झेला जो पत्थर से आग निकाल देते हैं और ये बैल का आँख है और ये है धंधा धंधा मतलब कोई भी बिजनेस अपन कर रहे हैं वो सही होना चाहिए और ये है कुम्मी कुम्मी जो मांस का बना हुआ मछली फंसाने का तो वो लोग मांस मछली बहुत खाते थे इसलिए से ये कुम्मी बनवाए और ये है दौरी दौरी मतलब बांस की ही होती है जिसमें चावल धोने के काम आती है और ये है मधुमक्खी के छत्ते और ये सागर सागर जो दरवाजे पे कड़ी लगा थी उसको भी बोलते हैं और सागर लहर भी बोल देते हैं जैसे लहरें समुंदर की लहरें हैं उसको भी बोलते हैं और ये है मुरैला और ये भी सेम चीज़ है तो माछी मुड़ी टिपका तो ये कुल मिला के मधुमक्खी के छत्ते ऐसे ऐसे ही बना है पूरा और ये है चूल्हा और ये बड़ी ये लकड़ी हो गया और ये बिंदे में अनाज की ढेर है ताकि हमारे घर में अनाज हमेशा रहे धन्यवाद